Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming to check out this instructional video. Let's get right into this. So recently, you guys have been reviewing some geometry topics. Specifically, you've looked at some of your elementary and younger middle school day topics, um, reviewing angles and some triangles and things of that nature. Okay. Where are we going with all this? Well, we want to be able to do this type of problem, right? As we become a high school student, we want to be able to do something like this. Imagine two parallel lines, right? Recently, you guys reviewed parallel. Nothing too impressive about that. However, once we introduce a third line into this, this is a very rich mathematical, I don't want to say shape, but maybe diagram would be a better word to use. As you can see, let's change our color here, many different angles are created in this shape. And here's four right here. Here's five, six, seven, eight, at least eight different types of angles. And these angles have relationships. So as we progress now with our knowledge, it's not just so much the basics anymore, but really the relationships. How are these angles connected? Before we go straight into this, diagram, we need to kind of do an intermediate lesson. That's sort of the purpose of today's video. There are some angles that are not quite basic, but not quite on the level of this diagram, but that middle level, right? And that's what we need to look at now. Let's do this. Okay. As first, we have this type of angle. You've heard of this, adjacent. Adjacent. Adjacent means next to. Right? You live adjacent to your neighbor. You live next to your neighbor. Okay? In math, adjacent angles are two angles that share a, a side and they share a vertex, right? Let's say we have this diagram. We have the points A, B, and C in this vertex O. Which angles would be adjacent, right? Is an angle A, O, B, A, O, B, is adjacent next to angle what? B, O, C, or C, O, B are the same thing, right? This angle. Right, and why are they adjacent? Because they have something in common. They have something that they share, right? This is common. They both have OB involved. That's, the, that's what they share. Vertex O in that side OB, or ray OB. So that's adjacent. All right, guys, let's look at our second type of angle relationship. This is something you possibly have heard of before, complementary angles. Complementary. It's two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So it's not one 90 degree angle like you see in example two. It's two angles that when you put them together will ultimately look like example two. Right, but let's look at example one. We have these two angles. One is 44 degrees, one is 46 degrees. We can see if we add them, 44 plus 46 equals 90. So those are complementary. They don't have to be touching, right? They could be, but they don't have to be. Sometimes they don't use numbers, right? Sometimes they may use a diagram like in example two, but they may modify it. Right? What if we insert another line in here, another red? And let's put some letters on here. T, U, 
V. We'll call this O. They didn't even give us numbers, but they did give us this 90 degree symbol box, right? So we know together this makes 90 based off that symbol. What are the two angles that make 90, right? Wouldn't it be T O U and angle U O V? We put them together, they add up to 90, right? They form a 90 degree angle. Okay, guys, let's check out this third type of angle relationship, which is known as supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180. So it's two angles that when you put them together, they form a straight line, right? A straight line is 180. So we have example one, right? And we see there's two angles, they're not connected, but if we were to add their values, they would equal 180. These are supplementary. They don't need to be touching, right? Example two, the way it's presently drawn, this would not be supplementary because there's only one angle that equals 180. That's one straight line. You need two angles, right? So what you'll see them do with this type of math, let's, uh, they'll introduce another line. And they may put some letters on here. I'm sure they will. Now, if I were to ask you which two angles are supplementary in example two, you would have to tell me what angle A, O, B. So that's this angle. And what else do we need? We need this one, which is what? B, O, C. So it's two angles, when you put them together, add up to 180. And finally, our fourth type of angle relationship is known as vertical angles. Vertical, it's named that because the two angles share a vertex, right? A common point. But they share that vertex in such a way that the two angles will open opposite to each other. So one might open up, the other will open down. One might open left, the other will open right. So they open opposite to each other. But strangely, the vertical angles are congruent. They are exactly the same. Remember the symbol for congruent? We said is three lines. Or you could use this symbol. Right, so vertical angles are exactly the same. What do they look like? We'll see an example of that. Typically they look like the letter X, right? So there'll be one line, and there'll be now another line introduced. And you can see how this makes four angles, right? There's one. Two. So those are vertical. They share this vertex. And you can see they open opposite. These are also vertical. The left and the right. They're exactly the same. So we know if this is 130 degrees, so is this because they are congruent. And let's take a look at some example problems that we'll see in IXL in our practice. If I go to IXL, I can click on the eighth grade math skills, and we're looking at skills 013 and 014. Let's click on 013. What do we have to do here? Identify complementary, supplementary, vertical, and adjacent. So, okay, so here's our first question. Which angle is congruent to angle one? So to me, this reminds me of vertical angles, right? We have a bunch of angles sharing the same vertex. Which one is opposite to one? Remember we said vertical angles open opposite. So wouldn't it be angle four? Let's see. All right. What else? 
Vertical angles, vertical to one, opposite to one is angle four. Okay, complementary to angle one. So here's angle one, the complementary. Now what would make, this needs to form a right angle. I'm thinking it's gotta be two, right? Angle one and angle two, if we put those together, that would make a 90 degree angle. They're complementary. Okay, let's check out that other skill. IXL 8th grade math. This is skill 014. Let's scope it out. Same type of math, but this has us maybe finding the measurements. So here we go. The measure of an angle is 32 degrees. What is the measure of its complementary angle? So we just said complementary angles are two angles that add to 90. So 32 plus what equals 90? Or 90 minus 32, right, equals x. That's how you might want to think about this. So I'm seeing maybe 58 sounds right to me. Oh, yeah. The measure of an angle is 48 degrees. What is the measure of its supplementary angle? Now we just said supplementary, two angles that add up, they have a special relationship, they add to 180. If one of the angles is 48, 48 plus what would equal 180? 180 minus 48, and what do we think it is? Maybe 132? Oh yeah. What is the value of D? So we notice we're given a 90 degree angle indicated by this red box. This part of it is 36. If the whole thing is 90, this is basically a complementary angles problem. They didn't use the word complementary, but you have to kind of make that connection, right? These are two angles that add up to 90. So 90 minus 36 is what? Okay, and this is a supplementary angle problem. We reviewed this earlier in the lesson. All right, good luck with this assignment. Reach out anytime. Have a great day.